Hello guys, welcome to Neurology 2 Minutes Concept and our topic today is Cherry Malformation. So the cherry malformation is described as a herniation of the cerebellum through the foramen magnum. Before going into detail, let's discuss the anatomy first. So this is basically the MRI of brain and the arrow shows cerebellum. The cerebellum is basically the most posterior part of our brain and foramen magnum is basically a hole in the base of the skull through which the spinal cord passes. So cherry malformation is characterized by herniation of cerebellum into foramen magnum and you can say the cause is small posterior fossa. See here. Here, the posterior fossa is so small that it cannot accompany the cerebellum. Types of cherry malformation. There are four types. Type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. Type 1 is mild type. Type 2 is classical type. It is also called as Arnold cherry malformation. Type 3 is severe type. And type 4 is incompatible with life. Cerebellum have different parts. So in type 1 carry malformation, the tonsils, which is a part of cerebellum, herniate through the foramen magnum and is typically seen in child and it associates with syringomyelia. Syringomyelia is a condition in which there is fluid-filled cavity formation in the spinal cord. And type 2 carry malformation, which is also called as Arnold carry malformation, is due to herniation of the cerebellum vermis. So it is associated with lipomeningomyelocele, obstructive hydrocephalus, and hydromyelia. Lipomeningomyelocele is basically the type of spina bifida. Spina bifida is a neural tube defect. If you need more information, go to my video of spina bifida and neural tube defect. Obstructive hydrocephalus is an increase in CSF due to obstruction in the flow, and hydromyelia is defined as a fluid-filled cavity in the central canal. Remember, syringomyelia is found in type 1 carry malformation, and hydromyelia is associated with type 2 carry malformation. In type 3 carry malformation, there is herniation of cerebellum vermis plus brainstem from foramen magnum down to the spinal cord. This arrow indicates the passage of the spinal cord through the foramen magnum, so the cerebellum herniate that much that it compress the spinal cord. Thank you.